Welcome to my Black Talk. Today we are going to discuss vagina which is actually part of the female internal genitalia. In female internal genitalia you will see the different components like first of all vagina, uterus, fallopian tube and ovaries. These are actually part of the internal genitalia. But if you see the external genitalia which we have discussed in previous lecture uh, that in external genitalia you will see the mons minoris, maj labia majora, minora, clitoris and, con and conventionally you will also include the perineum in the external genitalia. So in this lecture we will discuss the detail uh, about the vagina. So let's start. So first of all we will discuss the basic positions of the different organs. Uh, in the female. So here you see that first of all we start from here that this is anterior side and this is the posterior side of the body and here you see that this is actually the sagittal section and in which you will see this is the pubic bone. This one is the pubic bone which is as an, which is present at the front side and this uh, this whole area is actually the mons vinaris vinaric area which is actually present at the anterior side and here you see that after that you will see a structure here this structure this structure is actually the urinary bladder urinary bladder is the structure that is present afterward and in the urinary bladder as you see this portion here this one after that you will see this portion is, is actually the urethra urethra which is the opening for the urine so here is the opening you will see this is the opening for the urine so this is the one point and after that you will see the vaginal introitus so here you see uh, above you will see externally you will see the different components but in this lecture we will discuss in, in internal female internal genitalia specifically vagina so here you see that first portion of the internal genitalia is the vagina. So here up till here this one up till here you will see this whole structure is actually the part of the vagina. This is the vagina which is actually a canal. Vagina also called the birth canal because in that situation baby pass through this canal. So that's why we call the vagina as birth canal. And as we discussed, first component is the vagina. Second component is the uterus. So above you will see this whole structure which is actually a fundus in structure. So this whole structure up till here, this portion is actually the uterus. uterus has large body and the between the uterus and the vagina you will see a structure which is actually combine or connect the uterus with the vagina and this structure this structure is actually called the this one this structure is called the cervix cervix is actually a pathway that connect the vagina to the uterus and if we see the ovaries and the fallopian tube so here at the lateral side so here you will see uh, if i write here that at this side you will see the arise of the fallopian tube and you also see the attachment of the ovaries on both sides so here if you see that uh, on the both sides of the uterus and uh, left and the right on both sides you will see the two fallopian tubes and two ovaries so this is basically the 
basic uh, compositions of the female internal genitalia so now we will discuss specifically the vagina so vagina is basically the fibromuscular membranous sheet channels this is actually a channel that connect the uterus with the exterior external introitus so this is the main point vagina is actually a channel that connect the uterus with the vulva or you can say external part of the body so this is the one point next you will see uh, this in that situation like if you see that the growth of the baby here is the baby and in that situation the growth of the baby happens in the uterus and when uh, time to deliver, deliver the baby then in that situation the baby pass through the vagina and vagina has ability to distend so in that situation when parturition occurs then you will see the distension or extension of the vagina so vagina has flexibility and it can distend a lot so in that situation because in that situation whole, whole baby has to pass through this vagina so in that situation vagina has ability to distend so in that situation that's why we call the birth canal canal that give birth to the baby so in that situation vagina also called the birth canal so this is the one point and if we see that the diameter if we talk about the diameter so diameter of the diameter of the vagina is actually the 2.5 centimeter so if we see the diameter so here the diameter of the vagina is just the 2.5 centimeter and in that situation keep remember the diameter vary according to the position at the starting or the initial point you will see the diameter is small but at the top you will see the diameter is large it's mean at the starting point of the vagina you will see the diameter is small but at the upside you will see the diameter is large so in that situation this is the basic uh, diameter and if you see if we talk about the position how vagina position in our body so it makes 45 degree with the horizontal plane so here if we see uh, like this one if we see the plane x axis and y axis so in that situation vagina lie in that situation so he, here is the horizontal x axis and this is y axis so this is x axis and from the x axis vagina form the angle of 45 degree 45 degree so here you see like if we consider it horizontal position then in that situation vagina form angle of 45 degree so this is the case in that situation you will see the vagina move upward and backward so this angle here is the case like this is the case and in that situation you will see the angle will be 45 so vagina actually move upward and backward so this is actually the position of the vagina but if we talk about the vagina according to the different according to the pelvic inlet or according to the uterus so it make different angle so we just we, we 45 degree form with the horizontal but if we see uh, that the according to the pelvic inlet so what is pelvic inlet pelvic inlet uh, like is the opening inlet means uh, something entering if you see that as we know that his this is the pelvic bone and here is the pelvic bone present in that situation here is the vertebral column so this is if you see that the pelvic this is actually the region of the pelvic inlet so this is actually the hip bone coccyx bone so this is actually the pelvic inlet but if we if we compare the vagina according to the pelvic inlet so actually pelvic inlet lies in this direction so so in that situation if we see that the 
this is the direction of the pelvic inlet and vagina also lie in that direction so here if we see that the pelvic inlet lie in this direction and pelvic inlet and the vagina lie parallel so this point is very much important pelvic inlet and the vagina is both are parallel to each other so this is the case so the directions of the here is the pelvic inlet and you will see the directions of the pelvic inlet and the vagina are both parallel to the each other. So this is the case one. And case two, if we see the position of the vagina according to the uterus, then it makes 90 degrees. So here you see like this is the position of the vagina and here is the position of the uterus. This one, this is the position of the vagina and this is the position of the uterus so if we see that that here is the case and you will see that in that situation you will see like this is the position of the position of the vagina and if we see that this this one is the position of the uterus so this case so it's make actually 90 degree so 90 degree. So this is the case. Uterus and vagina form 90 degree. It means right angle. So between the uterus and the vagina, you will see the right angle. Right angle. So this is the case in which you will see the 90 degree. So this is the case too. So this is the basic composition and the positions of the vagina. So next we will discuss the phornesis. What is phornesis? Phornesis is actually a uh, welt or you can say welt something like this. Welt or tom like structure. Uh, when we see the tom like structure from inside you will see the welt. Welt. V-A-U-L-T. Welt. So phornesis are basically the welt. Or you can say a uh, roof have uh, look like this. So this is the basic meaning of the phornesis. So next, uh, and so now we will see what is actually the phornesis. If you see that this is the vagina, and you will see there uh, there is a actually protrusion of the uterus. So actually you will see the uterus protrude into the vagina. So this is actually the protrusion of the Uterus. Due to the protrusion of the uterus, you will see the formation of the four vent. So here is the case. So at the this is the actually the anterior side. At the anterior side, you will see the anterior fornix, and at the posterior side, you will see the posterior fornix. This is the case. Anterior fornix is not as such deep, but Posterior fornix is much deeper compared to the anterior one. So these are basically the two fornix. And if we see the lateral, this is actually the 2D. But if we see 3D, then at this side and at the back side, you will see the four, you will see the two lateral fornices. So this is the case. You will see four fornices which are present in the vagina. So here you will see first one is the anterior. First one is the anterior fornix and second one is the posterior fornix and two is for the lateral fornix they actually look like this here if you see that first one anterior posterior and these are basically the two anterior so this is actually the anterior posterior and two lateral they actually look like this and they actually join in this way. So this is the case. They are actually the dome which are present at the top side of the vagina. So this is actually the valve. So you will see the four valve, anterior, posterior and two lateral. So this is uh, the basic concept about the fornix. Next we, uh, we will talk about the walls. So here you will see the four walls present in the vagina. 
So same here, just like the for next, you will see the four walls. So first one is the anterior, anterior wall. Second one is the posterior wall, and two is the lateral wall, lateral wall. So like here, like here you see that at the anterior side you will see the anterior wall. At the posterior side you will see the posterior wall. And at the two lateral, this one at the uh, this way and and inside the board you will see the two lateral wall. So here they actually look like this. So this is the anterior, this is the posterior, and in that situation you will see at the back side and at the front side you will see the different two anterior posterior and two lateral walls anterior posterior are opposite to each other and two lateral are actually opposite to each other so these are basically the four walls so we will discuss these walls one by one according to the position how they connect with other organs so we give reference so anterior wall is actually smaller than the posterior so here you can easily see that this is the basic point and you will see that the anterior wall is smaller than the posterior one so in that situation you will see the anterior wall is basically the 7 cm in length anterior wall is 7 cm but if we see the posterior wall which is high and form a deeper fornix we and this is the actually the 9 cm posterior wall so if we talk about the anterior wall so what organs actually relate with the anterior so this is actually the anterior and what organs uh, is actually correlate with the anterior wall so this is the urinary bladder so in that situation at the upper upper one third at the upper part one third region actually we divide the uh, let uh, anterior wall into three region so uh, one third region of the anterior wall you will see the what organ actually correlate urinary bladder urinary bladder is actually correlated with the upper part of the anterior wall next is the lower so if you see uh, that the this is actually the this one is actually the anterior wall that correlate with the uh, urinary bladder. So if we move downward, then the lower part can be correlate with the urethra, which is the final opening for the urine. So in that situation, lower part, lower tooth, you can say lower two third can be correlated with the urethra. So this is the case. So if you uh, get confused between the one third and two third, you can easily see that his, the, this is the anterior wall of the vagina and we divide it into three regions. So you will see that the first region is for the urinary bladder, upper part for the urinary bladder and lower two third. So here is the, this is actually the two third. Two parts is for the urethra, uh, ureter and one part is for the urinary bladder and this is the one third. So this is actually the basic concept because lot of medical students get confused between one third and two third. So this is actually the basic concept that you can easily understand what is actually the basic difference between the one third and the two third. So this is the case. And if we see the posterior, so here is the posterior. Now, we will discuss uh, what organs are actually correlated with the posterior wall. So, in that situation, the upper, we divide it into three. Upper, middle and lower. So, if we correlate upper part. So, actually, this is, this membrane, this is a membrane. What membrane? Peritoneum. This actually, the whole structure. So, this is actually the peritoneum. Peri Tonium. This is actually that separate the abdomen. So abdomen is actually surrounded by the peritoneum. So in that situation, when the peritoneum moves, it forms a pouch. It forms a 
pouch between the uterus and the rectum so actually uh, this is actually the final is for the rectum region so ure urinary bladder vagina and rectum so between the uterus and the rectum you will see a pouch so here is the this is actually a pouch and this pouch is actually called the pouch of Douglas. This pouch is called pouch of Douglas. So this is the pouch. And you will see this pouch can be correlated with the upper part of the posterior wall of the uter uh, vagina. So in that situation, the posterior wall of the vagina can be correlated with the pouch of Douglas. So this is the case. So upper part of the posterior wall can be correlated with the pouch of Douglas. Douglas. So this is the case. And next, the middle part of the posterior wall can be correlated. Actually, there is a septum that separate the uh, vagina uh, from the rectum. So in that situation, the septum which separate the vagina from the rectum and this, this, this one, this septum is called the recto vaginal septum. So this septum is called retro vaginal septum. So in the middle portion, you will see a region which is called the recto recto vaginal septum so this is the case two next is the lower portion and the lower portion of the lateral wall can be correlated with the perineal body so here between the vagina and the rectum you will see a region which is called the perineum which is actually present between the both male and female so in that situation you will see uh, here like this one this is the actually the peritoneal body that is present between the this is actually a region perineum region between the uh, anus or you can say anus and the uterus and this region is actually the present in the lower part so this is actually the perineal body lower part later if we talk about the lateral which are not actually visible. So, ablator is present at outside the board and inside the bowl. So, in that situation, uh, upper lateral part. So this, so, this point is very much important. So, if you see that the upper part. So, actually, this is the body of the, this is actually the uterus and you will see this is the fallopian tube and this is the ovary. So, you will see that there is a broad is ligament. So actually broad ligament surround all these components. So here is a broad ligament present in that situation. Downward. So actually there is a ligament which actually support all these components. So in that situation in the lateral side. So actually, this is these are basically the two lateral sides, and you will see a down, if you move downward, then you will see the lateral side. So in that situation, in the lateral wall of the vagina, so and the, we divide again lateral wall into three components. So upper part is actually correlated with the broad ligament, broad ligament, broad ligaments correlated uh, present two arteries so ureter and uterus so two arteries you will see uterus and ureter ureter arteries actually present in that region next is the middle in the middle region middle middle so middle actually lie in that situation so middle actually lie in that situation uh, lateral side i'm talking about lateral side so in the middle region you will see the correlate muscle levator ni muscles actually present in that situation 
लिमिटर एन आई एक्चुअली मेक ए फ्लोर लिमिटर एन आई मेक ए फ्लोर और यू कैन से पैल्विक फ्लोर दैट सपोर्ट डिफरेंट कंपोनेंट्स सो दे आर एक्चुअली डायफ डोम शेप इन appearance just like the diaphragm which are actually present in the upper parts of the uh, body lungs region so levator and i and last one is the lower part if we talk about the lower part then it, different components like if you remember uh, that the hair is the opening of the vagina and you will see that the hair is the vestibular body this is the vestibular body and here you will see uh, here is the bartholin gland what gland bartholin gland actually present in, around that so this is actually the uh, vaginal introitus and you will see a muscle which pass around them so actually this is the anus region and you will see different levator and i muscle so this is the anus and in the this muscle is actually called the bulbo cavernosis muscles so you see different component surround the uh, vagina external genitalia you will see the bulbo cavernosis muscles and around that you will see the vestibular body which is actually the part of the clitoris and beneath you will see the bartholin gland these three components are actually present or correlate with the lateral wall of the uh, lateral wall of the vagina so this is these components bartholin gland vestibular body or vestibular you can say vestibular bulb and bartholin gland so these are lie in lower region so this is the actually the uh, vagina if you see the transverse section then it will look like at shape so here is the case so Uh, this is the rectum side and this is the urethral side this is the opening for urine this is a uh, vagina and this is the rectum so when we cut and the transverse section if we see the transverse section then we will see it at like so if we see the walls so here you can see like uh, these are basically the two lateral walls at the ureter side you will see the anterior wall and at the rectum side you will see the posterior wall so here is the case these are basically the different wall and they are actually transverse at shape and they look like this is actually the uh, transverse or you can say cross sectional area of the vagina and it will look like the at shape three walls and three fornices and three walls two lateral one anterior and one posterior so this is the basic uh, walls of the vagina so this is all about the hope so you understand uh, the basic structures of the vagina so if you have any question you may ask in the comment section thank you so much